to circumcise or not to circumcise? That is the question. And it seems as though the majority of people prefer circumcision. Possibly because they are not the ones being circumcised. For many years, the appearance of the circumcised penis. Ah, uh, uh oh. The content of this recording may be offensive to some. If you haven't got an open mind, please find another one, listener. This question advised. Ah,、uh, uh, for mature. Listeners only, please. It's on the subject of the penis and circumcision. Now, I just came away from a discussion on the subject of circumcision, pros and cons. So, most of I, I haven't had very many sexual partners in my life, and、um, the ones I have, and I, I have seen many penis. I've seen many dicks. I've seen many dicks because I worked in the past as a massage attendant as well as a domina, and that required men to be in various states of undress in my presence. Also, some of my partners, I examined what they were working with, and most of them were circumcised. I. Have had a total of three partners who were not circumcised. One of them was a one night stand. He was Nigerian, a young Nigerian male who, um, it was a hit and run. <laughs> Now, I was very surprised to see the penis when he showed it to me. Uh, it didn't look like much. In fact, it looked hideous. It was ugly and it was uncircumcised. But let me tell you, this guy put it on me, okay? And damn, that was、uh, quite remarkable. So don't sleep on the uncircumcised because that was. I got, I got rocked by that, okay? And then the other one. Was actually a boyfriend. My boyfriend, yes. I was getting to know him. He was a neighbor. He was spending loads of time at my home. If he wasn't at work, he was chilling in my place. So、um, he eventually moved in. I said, Why the hell? You're always here. It's, it's like you live here. So he moved from next door to my home. And we were involved sexually in a relationship, a couple. I started to observe an odor, an odor that I realized was from、um, his clothing. His clothing, because of how he washed his clothes, he was not taught how to properly launder his clothing. You know, it seemed as though he just threw everything together and he was using. When, you know, we, we have our own personal private、uh, laundry machines, washer, dryer. He was using communal stuff. He was using public laundry. He was using.、Uh, yeah, he was washing his clothes in places where just everybody else does. And he was not separating anything, he just threw everything together. And, you know, his. He was eating a lot of junk. He was eating a lot of Chinese food. He was every day eating Chinese food because it was cheap.、Um, like a $4.99 special for lunch. And it's a lot of grease and salt and MSG and just basically garbage. He was eating garbage. And it was coming out of his pores. He was sweating. This food he was eating, that's what I was smelling. So I corrected that by correcting his diet. I had him eating better than the Chinese $4.99 lunch special that he used to eat regularly. Because I don't eat like that, I eat properly. I had him, I, he was helping me at this time because I was trying to teach him. 
So we were making sourdough bread and sorrel and ginger beer and pancakes, crepes. And, you know, I was cooking food. You know, we were baking our own bread, making our own beverages. And it was good. He was, he was learning how to eat, eat properly because his parents had not, never taught him to eat well and to be well. The odor from his body was from the crap he was eating, coming out of his pores. Then I noticed the penis. There was an odor. Oh, it was from the foreskin because he was not circumcised. So he had a foreskin. And one day I, I pulled that foreskin back. And I thankfully wasn't repelled by smegma. I didn't see any smegma, but there was an odor. The thing about that odor is, I hate to admit it, it's true, I'm a freak. I liked it. I was like, oh, damn, that's hot. Oh, I love that. Mm. So I'd, I'd ask him, can I sniff it? <laughs> he was embarrassed. But, see, that's one of the ways I make you not be embarrassed, by showing appreciation, like, I'm loving you and I'm loving your dick and I'm loving the smell because it was an odor, but I didn't, it wasn't an odor that I, that repulsed me. It wasn't sick. It was just a little strong, a little funky. I don't know. It turned me on. So I, I thought, wow, imagine I actually like this. Something wrong with me. So I would like, wake him up or not wake while he's sleeping I would go down there under the covers and put my face right in there and just keep inhaling and sniffing oh, yeah it smells so good of course that gets your juices flowing that gets you worked up it gets you turned on you know, you're fucking it's like oh my god that smell and that's natural that's natural odors it's like many males often speak of women's pussy smelling Again, it depends on the level of hygiene. How is she washing herself? Because my pussy never stink. This guy I discovered, he does clean. But I just, just to be on the safe side, I checked. And yes, he cleaned his, he cleaned his penis. Because as a person who was uncircumcised, he learned that he had to. But the odor was also, again, because of what he was eating. As soon as I corrected his diet as soon as i had him eating clean healthier there was no more odor he had no more bio you know so just so you know um sometimes it is hygiene sometimes people are not properly properly cleaning their body parts and that's why they may have an odor but many times it could just be that they're not eating healthy foods. They're not drinking healthy. They're consuming a lot of alcohol and, and, and soda, high caloric, high, high sugar content, and eating a lot of grease, salty, and food that is questionable. What, how do you know it's chicken you're eating? Is this really chicken? What are you really eating? You can't really tell the part. You just, they just put everything in a sauce. It's disguised. They hide whatever it is you're consuming. You cannot identify it because it's covered in a heavy sauce, gooey, colorful sauce. And you guys are eating a lot of crap. And it shows from the odors coming from your bodies. It's to circumcise or not. I'm just saying the best sex I enjoyed was from males who were not circumcised. And when you first looked at the penis, it doesn't look so pretty as the uncircumcised. The cut dicks look somehow look better. But the uncut dick feels better. Is better. It just is something about it. It's just the best sex I had was from the uncircumcised penis. I don't know. I am really now that I've had the uncircumcised, I don't care that much for the circumcised. I know they've been poor little babies getting cut. 
Why are you so insistent and obsessed with cutting the little boy, little baby boy penis? And you do the genital mutilation of the African girls. Why are you doing that? Who is making those decisions? You know, if you as a grown man want to be circumcised as an adult, it's, I hear it's very painful. What makes you think it's not painful for a baby? The poor baby traumatized. You're chopping off their dick. And you're saying it's for purposes of hygiene. It doesn't matter how much you cut your, and the boy is uh, circumcised. If the boy is not eating healthy, clean, if the boy is not taking proper care hygienically, if he's not washing his body, if he's not cleaning the head, the glands, he's not, he gotta wash, you gotta wash your balls. It gets sweaty, it could be stinky, it's close to your anus. Wash that too. It was so, put a soapy finger up your butt and keep rinsing, rinsing, rinsing. Angle it so that the shower is hitting your booty hole or get the hand held. Clean yourself. That's the number one thing you have to do when you're thinking about sex or getting involved with someone of the opposite sex. Oh, maybe you are same sex. But you want to be sexual, make, just keep it clean. And keeping it clean is best to do it regularly. You know, don't just wait, oh my God, I'm going to have a date next month. And then wait on that day to finally clean it. You got to clean it every day and maintenance. it's maintenance. But from the argument or discourse of um, which is best, circumcised or uncircumcised i would say if you're looking for appearance then you're gonna go for circumcised but if you want a real pleasurable experience you go for the uncircumcised the uncut dick is far more pleasurable in my estimation from my experience thank you for listening please like share subscribe comment or not it's all good i'm domina della pie mistress sasha storm Good day.